Hi guys, thanks for watching me. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and this is part two on how to stay sane in a crazy world. Okay, in my last video I told you all about my book. The link is below if you want to go get a copy. But today I'm going to talk about three words that I spoke about. Identify, accept and create. What do they mean? We live in a world that's gone nuts. Let's agree to that one, okay? <clears throat> so to agree to that, the first thing is we have to identify, number one on the list, identify what it is that we perceive to be crazy. We look at the behaviours, we look at the actions, we look at the words, we look at um, psychological impacts of what things do to others, actions, etc. do to others. Okay, and we say this is crazy. So what we have to do is accept whatever it is that other people are doing to us. You know, it's easy to just say, oh yeah, I just don't want to do that. I would not do that. But at the end of the day, we've got to acknowledge that not only will we not do it, but we allow others to do what they want. Okay, <clears throat> that's a big one. We allow others to do what they want. This is acceptance. Okay, I learned about it all in heaven when I died in 2001. We just, it's not like saying, oh, I never want to see you again. I hate you. Oh, because I don't like that word hate. Okay, I don't even want to say it again. It's not like we're saying, you know, I hate you. I don't want to see you anymore. It's just saying we're not compatible. I don't agree with what you do, okay? It's all right to say that to people, jobs, workplaces. I was in a restaurant the other night. I didn't like what they were eating, serving, so I walked out. It's okay because everyone has their own opinion and that's what we must respect about others, okay? So what am I getting to today is acceptance. We accept what other people are doing we don't hold any animosity we don't hold a grudge we don't hold on to any regrets of why they did what they did to me okay because we accept that they've done what they've done to themselves they're the ones who have to heal themselves they're the ones that are only hurting themselves so this is how we take our power back and this is how we take our own authority when we say, I am now responsible for my own actions. If I hurt anybody else, that's on me. If I upset or abuse someone else, that's on me. If I give loving kindness and generosity to others, that's also on me. So we take re onus, we take that onus of responsibility and we put it onto ourselves. I am not responsible for what other people do, but I allow them to do what they want under free will, which is universal laws. I allow them to do what they want because they do have that choice. However, I don't agree with it. Thank you very much. Okay, <clears throat> so that's accepting. Then the last one is creating. We get offended so easily now as a society. Have you noticed? Everyone's offended. Everyone's so politically correct. Oh my gosh. We can't even say someone to someone now, oh my gosh, I love your black hair. Because that's now racist. Crazy. That's what I call it. So we just accept that other people have these philosophies. But at the end of the day, thank you very much. I don't agree with it. If someone has black hair or red hair or yellow hair or orange hair, I call it what it is. And it's not being racist. Okay? And this is my personal opinion. This is like saying I've got a blue coat on. <laughs> this is like saying the flowers behind me are red. <laughs> are they going to get offended? <laughs> Because they, they want to be blue and my jacket wants to be red? Come on. 
Because we live in a world now that's gone crazy. That's just one of the things on the list, because it's a long list, I'm sure you'll agree. So how do we stay sane through all this? We look at ourselves and we say, what am I doing right now where I create my own version of my reality? Because when I died in 2001, I learned what we think about is what we create. The more we concentrate and put energy into something, we're going to create it. And this is what we've all got to start doing, guys. We've got to sit there at the end of the day and say, I don't agree with what you're doing. And I don't agree with what you're doing. But I'm so grateful that you're doing it because it's showing me that I don't want to be like that. It's showing me that I want to do things differently to you. So please, we'll just agree to disagree. There's no animosity, no regrets, no grudges. But I'm just going to allow you to do what you do because I've ident identified the behavior. And now I'm going to create my own reality. I want to be happy. I want to know that I can walk down the street today and I'm not going to get pulled over to say, go back to your house, you're not allowed outside the house today. I'm going to create that anyway. I'm going to create a world where I'm not living in this fear that they want. I'm going to go out and I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be content. I'm going to be free to talk to anyone I want today and allow them to feel my energy that I have created because then my energy gets inflicted on those and then they are this big bubble of happiness as well so then they go and inflict that on somebody else as well so this bubble of beautiful happiness is shared all around me that's what I want to create I want to create this happiness that just bubbles out of me and the more we say it, the more we put in our energy into it, and the more it is done. Or mote it be, like they say, in a certain craft. Yeah, not a witch. So, in my book, Turning Negative into a Positive, because negative is insanity, right? You'll all agree with that, especially in societal conditioning, conditioned to be with society <laughs> so we look at what others are doing and at the end of the day if you don't agree with it learn how to create what you want your world to be no one is ever going to tell me that I cannot be happy no one will ever tell me that I am not free little story there was a guy in jail for 15 years he came out singing and dancing they said how was it in jail for you for 15 years and he said what was I in jail for 15 years they said yeah you were he said holy shivers every day I was at the beach what every day he sat in his cell surrounded by concrete walls and bars but every day in here he created that he was sitting on the beach See, we don't have to live by their rules. We don't have to live by their mandates. We can create whatever we want as long as we identify and accept that what is out there is what we don't want. I don't want to be a person who brings other people down. I want to inspire I want to motivate and most of all I want to mentor others to be their own full potential. So therefore when the government says you can't do this and you can't do that, I sit here in my house, I'm still abiding by their rules but at the end of the day I'm here on YouTube telling others sitting in their houses around the world as well, you're not alone because even though we can't physically touch our energy is already connected because we've created it. 
So the more we think positively, the more we think, the more we create the world that we want to live in. There's heaps of exercises out there, guys. How to meditate, how to look within. If you want a copy of my book, the link is below. There's heaps of tools. There's heaps of exercises in here on how to be such a better, loving person. All we have to do is identify that we want to be that way. Talk soon, guys. Bye. To learn more about your Solistic Alignment, please press the like button and click subscribe. To purchase any of Dr. Linda Kramer's books or services, please visit www.lindaray.info.